At 74, she thought she had found love again, but instead a local woman may have been part of an elaborate scam. Judy Curry contacted 10 News after being catfished, duped into believing that she was chatting online with someone pretending to be someone else. New at 6, 10 News reporter Jennifer Jensen has the new warning for others and why Curry is still holding out hope for love. I love you more with each passing day, hugs and kisses. Judy Curry says she felt as if she had found love again, meeting a man who said he was from IB named Thomas Ratcliffe, who had swept her off her feet. The, the love letters that he sent me were absolutely beautiful. They had said everything that any woman would want to hear, and he said it very convincingly. If Judy looks familiar, she should. But yeah, I was a mystery woman then, huh? <laughs> She was the mystery woman in the snapshot with former Mayor Bob Filner just 48 hours after his emotional resignation speech. The 74-year-old former school principal and widow lost her husband Bob from lung cancer just four years ago. She still wears his wedding ring around her neck. They had been married for 46 years, so hearing kind words and feeling wanted felt good. So I just felt wanted. I felt like he really cared, and, uh, and I was had. She became suspicious when Tomas called her by the wrong name. Hugs and kisses. Love you more, Paula. But her name is Judy. After right digging here? around his Facebook page, she found the real Paula online, and they compared stories. Tomas was having an online romance with both women. But two months in, Paula was sending the man money. Judy contacted the FBI. Yeah, they told me they get a thousand of these a month. Um, Here in San Diego? Uh -huh. Judy keeps a yellow folder filled with the letters he wrote her. She says it gives her hope. I'm still hoping that it might be true. I know it's not on a rational level. And her message to other women? It can happen to anybody. Along Sunset Cliffs, Jennifer Jensen, 10 News.